Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video we are continuing to make doodle jump game and we will add beasts, some monsters and our doodler will be able to shoot them. So let's start. So first let's upload sprites with the beast. I found a picture in the internet and I go to custom and erase. You can just duplicate. I want to create four or five different beasts I just left one and erase others this one then we click convert to vector click on the select tool and put it in the center convert to vector select here okay one two Convert to vector and let's. Uh, you see that selecting area more than this one, so I click convert to bitmap again and erase. So here is something you should erase. Let's try again. Yeah, it's fine. Convert to vector, select, put in the center. This one I delete. Great. Now our monsters should appear while we are playing and moving like a ground because we need this scrolling motion. So easily we can just drag scripts to the beasts and this one, then go right click clean up blocks and let's change a little given okay, the green block with height when I receive start our monster should appear somewhere here let's say y 180 it's here yes and um, we will create clones but not just five we'll create clones forever not change why so we create clones so we create clones with a random delay so we will create wait and pick random let's from one to three for example you can set it as you wish when i start as a clone show settings to the random position so it can be here or here then we change y by speed crown it's uh, our scroll movement and this we can just um, okay we delete this when the y coordinate it's um, minus 170 it means that the monster came down we need to delete clone that's just, so he hide all right let's check yes you see we have monsters i just want them not just um, appear but also move from right to left so when i start as a clone let's forever we just need point in direction to the right always move 10 steps and if on edge bounce also click on direction and set left right let's try yeah you see he's moving but actually too fast let's not 10 maybe three steps yeah great and also let's change costumes switch costume to the random one pick random from one we have four so 
1 to 4 we will have different monsters yeah you see different great the last thing let's create a bullet for a doodler we have the second costume up and um, let's add a condition so if if k up pressed we switch costume to up also we need to paint bullet i choose a brush color green set size and put in the center great i think it's okay we can check it yes i think size is okay this brand will be bullet and so when we press up arrow we need to broadcast a message to the bullet so it should uh, shoot broadcast bullet just wait fine 0 0.1 second a little and then switch costume back to the doodler. Let's put it here. Okay, and the bullet. When the green flag clicked, we hide. When the green flag clicked, we hide. And when I receive bullet, the bullet should go to the doodler. So in the motion, choose go to doodler. And it's go to the center of the doodler, yeah, somewhere here. After this, we need to point in direction up, because we always go to up in the doodler. And then we need to move about 30 steps. So our bullet will be here before doodler. And then repeat until touching H or touching beast. We can join them using or condition. Touching H or touching beast. Move 10 steps and then hide hide again and before we all um, shoot shot okay go to the doodler we need here switch costume to the doodler play okay let's just try click now we also need to add conditions that when we are touching beasts we lost so if touching beasts we can just duplicate this with the game over or broadcast game over and stop the game and to the beasts let's add condition if touching bullet yes we will delete the clone that's all for today i hope you enjoyed this video try to avoid beast and make a and make a great record see you next time bye